started when my son was, 20, was two years old and he's 27 now. So I did a painting for him. I just saw this cardboard thing and I thought, well, that's kind of fun. I'll put it outside. 25 years later, nearly 30 houses along the street are decked out with Barb's art from themes of years past. This year's theme, the nightmare before Christmas. We have uh, about a thousand kids plus their families. We'll have a DJ going uh, with fireworks and stuff as well. Uh, and I get 1,300 pieces of candy and I will run out. Barb started fundraising for sick kids 10 years ago and in that time has raised nearly $30,000. She has also brought a strong sense of community to her neighborhood. We do exactly what Barb tells us. Uh, we show up, she has a list, and it, we're like soldiers. It's like, okay, go do this, go do that, go do that. It's, it's really fun, though. I mean, look at how amazing all of it is. On Halloween night, starting at 4.30, Headington will close to traffic from Eglinton to Roselawn Avenues as trick-or-treaters fill the street. Yeah, like I go on the street and then go to other neighborhoods near here and try to find the good ones with the Jumbas. But does anything really compare to this neighborhood? No. And while trick-or-treating, families can give to sick kids in donation boxes along the street or directly through Barb's website, HeddingtonHalloween.com. She'll also be auctioning off the larger-than-life animatronics donated by Home Depot Canada on November 1st. In Midtown, Michelle Mackey, City News.